We have Mookie Blues, we have Moon Dancers, Wiley Points, Narambegas, Dodge Coves, Lyndon Points. There's a lot of uh, oysters coming out of this river. My name is Bill Mook. I own Mook Sea Farm. We've been in business here on the Damascotta River uh, farming oysters since 1985. This is our 33rd year in business. When we started, we were doing probably several hundred thousand oysters a year, and now we're in 2018, we've put out over five million oysters. From the very beginning in 1985, um, our business was primarily a seed supply business. So we had a hatchery uh, in which we reared a variety of different shellfish species. And beginning probably right after the year 2000, we shifted to only doing American oysters. And it's only been in the last probably five or six years that the shift in, our, in the company revenue has shifted more towards market size oysters. So we're currently at about two thirds of our revenue coming from the sale of uh, market oysters destined for the half shell market and one third coming from seed sales. Right now we're in the Damascotta River. We're on our Perkins Point lease. So this is about a 30 acre lease um, located on the western side of the river in Damascotta, Maine. The way the company used to cultivate oysters was by throwing them on the riverbed and then dragging them up. Um, about seven years ago, Bill switched to floating aquaculture and we started to fill in this area with oyster grows. So we're permitted to have about 4,000 cages in this area and that has kind of represented the expansion of the company within the last four to five years. So these guys, they're pulling up to our F grid, which is a grouping of cages that we have on our lease. They pull up along the cage, pull the cage up on the side of the boat, and basically just pull bags off a shelf. Each individual market bag will have about 200 oysters. They're going to put them in the blue exactics that are in the boat. Um, each exactic can hold about 5,000 oysters, so you're looking at close to 20,000 oysters in the boat, harvested by two guys in about a half an hour. Historically, this has always been a really high producing area of oysters. There's um, historical Indian middens actually in town that used to be four stories tall, where Native Americans would throw their oyster shells and they would, over the course of years, would stack up. The reason that it's so good to grow oysters up here is because of Glidden Ledge, which restricts the river um, and allows for the water in this area, in the southern part of the river, to have a higher retention time, so, so it's not flowing in and out as much. It's staying up here, it's warming up, and it's allowing the algae um, to grow a lot quicker. So there's a lot of food, a lot of flow, um, which really helps produce oysters. 80 to 90% of the oysters that are sold in Maine came out of this river. We are standing in a state-of-the-art facility for holding and uh, improving oyster quality uh, in, a, in essentially a closed recirculating system. This is a land-based aquaculture facility and we started thinking about building this a number of years ago as we noticed certain things happening in our natural environment that were you know, important changes to how we were operating. One of the primary reasons for this building is to be able to cope with rainfall closures that occur every time there is two inches of rainfall that occurs in 24 hours. The state of Maine, the Department of Marine Resources, closes the growing areas to harvesting until they can go back out, resample all the growing area water, and uh, determine that the shellfish will be safe to eat. This facility allows us to capture Damascotta River water. We, it's highly filtered, we irradiate it with UV radiation so we can be assured that the water quality remains 
uh, excellent in the facility. It allows us to bring oysters into the building and hold them and continue to ship during these rainfall closures. We're harvesting out of a land-based aquaculture facility, so the harvest date is when it's coming out of this facility. I think that we in the shellfish industry have a real story to tell about how climate change is costing us and affecting our businesses now. Every time you have a, a storm like Florence disrupting all of the transportation networks, uh, marketing supply, all of that, these are real uh, financial impacts to our business. Our story is pretty similar to all the other farms that are located on the river. When I first started five years ago, you'd be going down the river and all these farms would have one float with maybe one or two guys. And now every farm has two or three floats, every farm has five to 10 guys. We've seen a real draw in the community. We've attracted a lot of young professionals to sort of move up here and work in the industry, which is pretty unique for Maine. Of those 22 employees that we have, I'd say probably 15 to 20 are all under 35. So it's, it's a really cool, growing young industry that I think Maine is really suited to take advantage of.